Paul Mwasa Musamali to move a vote of thanks. Honorable members, we shall have the opportunity to debate this great speech, this presidential speech, and uh, we will do it when it will still be fresh in our memories. It will be done tomorrow morning, the whole day, from morning till the end, we'll be debating this great speech. So, Honorable Musamali, you have the floor. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the member of the East African Community Heads of State Summit, Mr. Speaker, allow me, in the interest of time, to stand on the protocol as you already observed. I also want to take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to thank you and the members uh, of IALA for entrusting me to move this vote of thanks. <coughs> Your Excellency, as already mentioned, my name is Paul Musamali. Among your people, where I come from, that is uh, the Bukusu of Uganda. Uh, they say that when a big drum sounds, the small one cannot, hurt, cannot be heard. Now I'm conflicted because you have sounded a very big drum. But uh, let me seek your indulgence and permission because of this wonderful and elaborate speech you have made you allow me sound this small drum to thank you for this very important speech <laughs> your excellency <clears throat> i want to take this opportunity again on behalf of yala members to congratulate you upon your election to that office of president of Kenya. Because this is the first time we are meeting since you are elected, Your Excellency. I also want to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to thank you for the work you have been doing in the service of the people of Kenya and the people of East Africa. We also want to take this opportunity your Excellency, to thank you for the statesmanship you have demonstrated in the service of the people of Kenya and in the service of the people of East Africa and the humanity at large. Your Excellency, it was already mentioned by the Right Honorable Speaker, we are very happy when we see you having or taking on efforts to ensure the unity of the people of Uganda, of Kenya, and the people of East Africa, and Africa in general, Your Excellency. We are happy, in particular, when we saw you with President Yoel Museven and the Right Honorable Raira Odinga in Uganda. Incidentally, you were all armed with sticks. But uh, you did not harm any, I mean each other. And among uh, cattle keepers, because I saw cattle uh, behind you in the background, the sticks are basically used to ward off uh, the wild animals, to defend those very animals. So we are happy that uh, you are working very closely with the president of Uganda, 
with your other colleagues, heads of states of East Africa, but above all, even with the Right Honorable Raila Odinga. I'm sure that we are going to see bigger things come. We thank you, uh, Your Excellency, for, uh, <coughs> for the speech you have delivered to this house. From what you have delivered, right, uh, Your Excellency, I have I made some few notes, but I have come to understand that the integration of the East African community in particular and Africa in general is not a matter of luxury, but a matter of necessity. Because this is about our lives as the East African people and as the African people. As you may all be aware, honorable members and the public, Africa, just like the president has put it, we have been victims of circumstances and some of the things were not the ones responsible. You are all aware the African people were traded as slaves. We were herded as goods, as if, they were, as if we were cattle, into the markets. They were calling them slave markets. Time came when the African people we were divided. And that's why you see me, I'm the other side. And then the right honorable Wetangula is this side. We were divided as if they were dividing a loaf of bread. We were not responsible for that. Again, as we fought, because colonialism was physical, these colonialists withdrew. But as you are aware, they have come back in the form of New York colonialism. In fact, this time, they are now controlling us both physically and virtually. They are very smartly, they are now controlling us. Your Excellency, that is a serious uh, threat to the African people. And it is therefore our responsibility for those of us in the leadership of Africa to ensure that we insulate. Africa against these disruptive forces, Your Excellency. You have just given a number of examples, but let me just put out, uh, bring, up, uh, bring out two. The very point, uh, last points you mentioned about debt management and responsible sovereign lending, right, uh, Your Excellency. These are part of the disruptive forces. It is therefore our responsibility either to stand up, to be counted, or we again be hearted like they did before. Your Excellency, <clears throat> we have three uh, points here which I want to bring to your attention. That for us to achieve our integration agenda, in fact, our, our mission and vision rotates around deepening cooperation and widening, I mean deepening integration and widening cooperation. But it, it will take us to sacrifice if we are to achieve our integration agenda. Your Excellency, I want to bring to your attention three issues in as far as the integration agenda of East Africa is concerned. And you have talked about them. But while you are addressing us, you again gave us an assignment that can, I, can someone summarize what you have said. Eh, the blood started flowing very fast from 
my head to the toes because I had been asked to move a vote of thanks. I said, ah, now, isn't, am I not going to have a retake in this assignment? But uh, let me put it right on uh, your excellence. In East Africa, so far as noted, we have made tremendous achievements. But if it were a child, we haven't started even crawling. This child is just starting to sit, just starting to sit, and that's where East Africa is. One of the challenges which we have, right, uh, Your Excellency and Right Honourable Speaker, is about funding to the community. Funding to the community. Your Excellency, I'm now serving my second and last term in Yara. For us, we have only two terms, if you are lucky to be re-elected. When we joined in 2017, uh, each partner state was contributing 8.3 million US dollars to the community. Now, as we talk, and even that money is not enough. As you are aware, some countries will pay on time, and others will pay later, and others will start again demanding them after two or three years to pay. So meaning that even in the community budget is affected by the, the funding mechanism. But I want to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to thank the Republic of Kenya and to thank you, Your Excellency, because Kenya has always been at the forefront in terms of funding, disbursement of the funds to the community. As we talk now, Kenya has already contributed 100% of its uh, share. Right, uh, Your Excellency. So we thank you. But as we talk, this money has come down from 8.3 about uh, six years ago to 7.8 million. 7.3 million. Now, Your Excellency, are we going ahead or oh, we are driving in reverse? Because <clears throat> as we talk, we are even having more institutions and organs being created. And you have just touched us here to ensure that those laws for fast tracking the monetary union, we are able to do them. And in those laws, they are supposed to create institutions for your information. Now we are reducing the budget. Now, Your Excellency, what we want to bring to your attention as a member of the summit is that uh, reconsider. We are aware that there is a sustainable funding me mechanism that has been uh, proposed, but still when you, you analyze it very well, it is just looking at how to generate the 7.4, I mean 7.3 million to go to East Africa, but not to increase so we are requesting that they look, uh, reconsider this position to increase funding to the community so that you are able to be facilitated, the organs and institutions are able to be facilitated well to promote the integration agenda, Your Excellency. So we request that you esca escalate this to your colleagues and we are sure if you prioritize East Africa, you have just told us we shall have a, 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 a expanded market and where is this market there will be production and where is production there will be investment and therefore employment all these hustlers of yours where you go so belong will be absorbed your excellence so we, we request that you prioritize East Africa your excellence number two I told you that we have three one is about funding Number two, you, this one is even yours. You are a champion of reforms. 
you have championed reforms you are championing reforms at the UN at the African Union at the World Bank now to mention but what a few now what happens to East Africa <laughs> your excellency we are requesting that you champion reforms also in EAC and those ones will entail one we are aware that uh, there is a consideration of the uh, co making of the confederation constitution but that one is going to take time you have even just appealed to colleagues south sudan and elsewhere to ensure that they go and mobilize the population and governments to participate in the, their proposals so it may take time so we are proposing that there are a number of amendments which have been prepared and others are coming to the treaty so as we work on the confederation constitution let us amend the treaty to enable us work where we have not been able to work well Iala is not autonomous your excellence we are requesting that make Iala autonomous such that you are able to have the power and the ability to bite. <laughs> we are supposed to oversight the institutions and the organs of the community. But these are the very ones who are facilitating us, who are deciding where to go and when. So we end up becoming toothless. Uh, I don't know if someone can co conclude it. But ideally, we are almost becoming toothless uh, dogs because we can only maybe back, but biting becomes a very big problem. Your Excellency, the same applies to the East African Court of Justice. It is also not autonomous. We are operating, and to make matters worse, they have even put us in the same building. Yara, court, and the ES Secretariat, which is the cabinet, we are there together. Now, every time you, you want to oversight the Secretary General, you collide with him in the court. <laughs> and then he says, what is happening? Is everything OK? Ah. So <laughs> we need your support, Your Excellency. Some of the things, Your Excellency, we need to fast track them. We have achieved some level at customs union we have also achieved at some level in the common market protocol Iyala, for your information your excellency we passed almost all the laws responsible for the implementation of operationalization of the monetary union protocol however some of the the the, the bills were returned for reconsideration for us, we are ready to work on that. In the fact, for your information, your excellence, I'm sure using your intelligence, you may have got it. There is a, a WhatsApp hoax going around that uh, saying that the East Africa, that we have introduced a single currency. And do you know what, your excellence? The population outside there, they are very excited for your information. Out of a hoax. That is, you people, is it true we are now going to start using a single currency? So, now some of these things we need to fast track them, uh, Your Excellency. Bernard Shaw remarked and said, progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. So let us work on changing those things which look like they cannot be changed. And you have demonstrated that you are a champion of change. Your Excellency, for your information, when they were counting votes and detailing them for, to, to be announced, I, myself and my wife, we didn't sleep. We were, <laughs> we were following it keenly. <laughs> eh? And when they announced you as the winner, Your Excellency, we celebrated. I don't want to say what for the next. <laughs> but we celebrated. So we have been admiring you. We are your supporters, even when we are across. 
If we had the opportunity to come and vote, we would have done it. But we are happy that you, you won and you are championing reforms and change. Be part of East Africa. You are already there, but Ongeza Moto. Lastly, it's about human resource in ESC. Your Excellency, in each and every organization, the human resource is the most important thing in any organization. And I want to bring this to your attention, uh, that there is a need for all partner states' governments to ensure that when you are deploying uh, people in the service of the community, it should be people who are ideologically oriented and clear about the mission and the vision of the East African integration agenda. Otherwise, if we just deploy for the sake, or if we don't pay attention to whoever is being deployed at ESC, right from the Secretary General to the lowest cadre, <laughs> Your Excellency, we risk, we risk employing merchants. They are just going there to look for money. We risk employing corrupt people. They will go there and they start squandering oh, the little, the very dindling support which is going there, it will still be squandered. We also risk, in as far as East Africa is concerned, we also risk deploying collaborators. When we were being colonized, even when we were being traded as slaves, we had our own African people who were collaborating and working as agents of slaves. Going in the countryside, collect people to the slave market. Then in collaboration, the others worked together with the collaborators, and I mean with the colonizers, and we were colonized. So that is the same at the community. Today, Your Excellency, and the Secretary General is the focal point, is the center, is the accounting officer in the community. And the current holder is you, Mr. President. So I want to up, uh, implore you, Your Excellency, that you take keen interest in ensuring that the Secretary General delivers to the expectations and aspirations of the people of East Africa. Thank you very much. May God bless you and bless East Africa. One people, one destiny. That is the slogan that guides us, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. This is Honorable Musamali. Your Excellency, Honorable Members, before adjourning uh, 